Hello, this is Vec. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I am in Greece and I'm visiting the largest port of the country. This is the port of Piraeus or Piraeus, which is the port of Athens, the capital of Greece. In this particular video, we're going to visit a very, very historic ship. We're going to visit a Liberty ship that was built during the Second World War in order to assist the Allies in their war effort against the Nazis. So let's go around this magnificent ship, which is acting as a museum, and he has taken the name of Hellas Liberty here in the port of Piraeus. We're going to learn quite a bit about its history. Come on, let's do it. And uh, here's a view of the old warehouses of the port of Piraeus, or Piraeus, here in Greece. This is the entrance to the museum. You can see the sign right there. Let's cross the entrance. Here we see a facility that has not been used in, a, in about 30 years here at the port. We're going to go under. Here's the beautiful Liberty ship right here in front of us. Beautiful view from here. Come on, let's go visit this very historic ship here in Greece. Now before we start our tour of this magnificent and very historic ship, let me tell you that there are two parts to the video. In the very first part, we're going to visit the living quarters of the crew and of the officers, and also we're going to get a wonderful view of the bridge. In the second part, and make sure you watch that part as well, we're going to get exclusive views of the engine room, believe it or not. So let's get going. We have a lot to see and a lot to enjoy. Okay, let's uh, take these uh, steps here. And let's go aboard the Liberty ship here and let's enjoy our tour. Come on. I am now on the top deck of the Liberty ship. You can see that uh, this very historic vessel has been completely redone and renovated. It was renovated in a shipyard in the island of Salamina, not far from here, around 2008. Let's walk around and let's see how it feels to be on a Liberty ship. Out of uh, 2,700 ships built during the Second World War, only three remain. And this is one of the three here. It gets very, very rarely visited here in Piraeus. You can see the passenger ships the Greek islands all around it right there. Let's walk towards the front. Beautiful views from here. We see a passenger ship coming into the port of Piraeus right in front of us. Let's take a very quick look. This ship is coming from the island of Aegina or Aegina. And we see a tugboat next to it as well. Here is the bow of the Liberty ship. Let's go as far as we can and get views of the port of Piraeus, the largest port, by the way, in Europe, passenger port. 
handling over 20 million passengers per year. And after the recent investment by the Chinese company of Costco, the number is expected to double within the next 10 years. Beautiful views all around from the bow of the Liberty ship here of the port of Piraeus, right there. And uh, here's a view of the stern of the rear of the ship right there in front of us. And here we can see the huge cranes that were used to unload and to load equipment onto the ship during the war effort. This ship was constructed and built in 1943 in Jacksonville, Florida. And it started service at the end of 1943. And it carried all sorts of equipment across the Atlantic. They have done such a fantastic job rebuilding them, this ship. And as I said, very rarely gets visited by people. So if you get a chance to come to Piraeus here in Athens, take a short walk and visit this magnificent ship before they decide to move it somewhere else because the space here in the port is becoming very, very precious because of the passenger ships requiring more and more space. And the port is being redone and redesigned because of the huge investment by the Chinese. And very soon, within the next two to three years, over 11 huge cruise ships will be able to park here so I don't see the ship lasting in its current place where it is today. So let's go inside the ship. Let's see if we can view the kitchen and whatever else they allow us to view. Come on, let's go. Let's walk now towards the middle of the ship where the living quarters once were. Here's a beautiful view of the mid-section of the ship. Come on, let's go inside. And uh, here in the mid-section of the ship, we see the kitchen. Right there. Which is not currently being used. I am uh, still in the midsection of the Liberty ship. This is where the living quarters for the crew were at. And here we'll get a chance to see one of the bedrooms right there. For two members of the crew. can also see right there the radiator that the ship had the heating system installed as well. And uh, right here where the living quarters are, we see a staircase taking us up to a level higher. So let's go up there and check it out and let's see what we're going to find. Come on. There are so many doors that are locked here in the mid section of the Liberty ship. We're going to try to enter into every room that we can find and that is open. Come on, let's continue our tour. Whereas uh, downstairs we saw the quarters, the living quarters for the crew up here, 
we find the living quarters for the officers of the ship. Let's go in here and check out this space here. You can see a sofa, office equipment, a desk, which is definitely not an original desk. Here's the bedroom, and this is most likely the space for the captain. There's another door here to the left, which is most likely the toilet. Yes, it is. I can see it from here. So the captain enjoyed the luxury of having quite a large space allocated to him. Let's continue this way. And here on the other side, we find the bedroom and the living space for another person, almost definitely an officer, but not the captain. Here's the heating system, and they had a fan to cool themselves down during the summer months. And a small sink here. So here's a view of the officers' quarters of a Liberty ship. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I'm still on the second floor of the mid section of the Liberty ship. Down the hallway that you can see here on the right, we saw the officers' quarters. And here we find another staircase taking us up to the third floor. Come on, let's go up there. Okay, I'm on the third floor now. Let's go into this room. And here we can find the communications equipment right there, all original. Look at that. This is a radio that you see here. We can see buttons regulating the frequency. Wow. Some of the original papers have been preserved. Here is the radio telephone log. And this is where you wrote the messages. Let's go this way, and I certainly hope that we're going to get to the bridge. Wow, here we are. All original equipment in beautiful brass. Here's the steering wheel of the ship. Look at that. Compared to today's ships, this is very, very primitive. But it is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And this is the view that the crew had from the bridge. Right there, that's the bow that we saw. And that's the entry to the port of Piraeus. Now, because they keep the doors closed here, you cannot go outside from the bridge, let's say. This space is so extremely hot. So it's time for us to go downstairs and see if we can get some views of the engines. But I don't think we will be able to do so. But let's go check it out. Come on. And I'm now right below the main deck. That's the bow, the front of the ship, right there. You can see the steel beams of the frame of the ship. 
here. Right there. So there are a few inches separating me from the seawater just outside the walls of the ship here. And you can see the space all the way down to the bottom of the ship. So this place here was full of cargo during its trips from the US to Europe. And it goes down for about six more meters following these steel beams that you see here. Now I asked the crew, there are a few people here maintaining and also guarding the ship, and I asked them if I can go down to the engines. Nobody's allowed to go down there. They're checking it out, and uh, if the captain who's here as well, if he agrees, they're going to open the door and I will get a chance to go down to the engines. Let's wait and see what happens. Let's cross our fingers. Okay guys, I have been allowed full access to the engine room below. I had to ask very politely and I had to wait for them to open the doors, but it worked for me. I had to convince the captain here. So let's get down there for a few minutes before they change their minds and let's check it out. Come on. My goodness, there are pipes everywhere in here. According to the captain, this ship is about 10,500 tons of displacement and it could develop speeds up to 10 knots, which is very, very slow. That would be about 12 miles per hour compared to the passenger ships that you saw in the very beginning the documentary outside the Liberty ship, their speed is about 30 to 34 knots. Three times as fast as the Liberty ship, although they are about five times bigger. So here's a view of the level where I'm at right now. And there's a staircase taking us even deeper into the engine room. Down there, come on, let's go. I am now at the level where the engines are, the steam engines. You can see one of the pistons here. Let's walk around very carefully. That's the bottom of the engine room down there and there are pipes everywhere here very rarely one gets to see the engine room of a liberty ship so let's do a good job recording it I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I'm not an engineer. That's the engine right there. The main compartment of the engine. And uh, here's another view of the engine. These are the shafts of the pistons right here. Here's one of them. It looks like it's it's a six cylinder engine. There are generators to my right. You can see three of them here electric generators. And right here, there's another staircase. Come on, let's take the last staircase and then let's go all the way down to the bottom of the ship. Come on. I'm now on the very bottom level of the ship. 
gears, the mechanism that would spin the shafts with the pistons. Look at this, an engine made in 1943 in Jacksonville, Florida. Let's walk around. I wish I could explain to you what I'm looking at right now. What an absolutely fascinating place to visit. It's a huge compartment. Look at this. That's the engine right there. This is a side view of the engine. The bow is right behind me, straight behind me. And the stern is down that way where the camera is pointing at. Look at this. The noise that you hear is that uh, there's a crew here working upstairs doing some maintenance. Let's go up the steps here and down again. oil tanks and there are valves everywhere here that's the engine right there so we walked all around here's the communication center for the engine this is how they used to communicate to the bridge. And another view. Let's go all the way down here. Here's another communication center. Here's a very last view of the engine room. Wow. Let's go this way so you can see how far down I have come. Get that. Let's go back up. Come on. Okay, guys, and uh, finally, here's our very last view of this magnificent and very historic ship here in the port of Piraeus or Piraeus in Greece. It was such a wonderful experience to be able to walk on the decks of this very historic ship, one of three remaining out of uh, 2,700 built in the US. We even got a chance to walk around the engine room thanks to a very polite captain. What a wonderful experience indeed. This is Vic, thank you for joining me all the way from Piraeus here in Greece. This was a tour of a Liberty ship, the Hellas Liberty. Bye-bye.